My guest is the secretary to the NDC Manifesto Committee, uh, Nana Oye Bampo Ado. Yeah. Ghanaians rejected you in 2016. Why should they believe that things you could not do just four years ago, you can all of a sudden have the magic wand to do all these things you've listed in your manifesto? Ghanaians did not reject NDC. We had millions of Ghanaians voting for the NDC. And extra but millions voting we had against you. More people voting for NDC, uh, for MPP, and so they are in government. Yes, yeah, so that's the a beauty of it is that Ghanaians have tasted wine, Ghanaians have tasted sweetness. And Ghanaians have now tasted bitterness and they can tell the difference and they are calling, wailing. They cannot wait for December 7th to cast their ballot for NDC to cast their ballot for John Dramani Mahama and Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajeman. The good thing is that Ghanaians can now make a comparison and they can see the clear differences. They can see who they can repose their confidence and their trust in. They can see the NDC party and government delivering and responding to their needs. They can see that the NDC will not promote family and friends. Mm. The NDC will not promote state capture. Mm. The NDC will not push corruption under the carpet. The NDC will not enhance ethnicity and actually deny, harass, assault, use state equipment, use state resources, and use state security to physically, in a brazen manner, prevent people from registering to exercise their civic and political right I am to a vote. Parent. This is exactly what mm. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado and the MPP did for people of the Volta region. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado actually, in the face of human rights, got state security to prevent the Evers from actually exercising and registering to vote. I Ethnic am, discrimination. I am a parent. This is what happened. My child has enjoyed free senior high school over the past three years, something that the other government said was going to happen over a period. Nana Akufado came and in 10 months he rolled it out and he has delivered for my child. I have another child who is going to enter secondary school next year. I trust that if Nanado continues to be president, my next child will also enjoy free SHS. Why should I jettison Nana Kufado and his MPP and bring a party that had said to me that it was not going to be able to do that immediately? What trust do I have that I'm not going to start paying school fees next academic year? I have a child who is going into SHS in a post-COVID society, I saw and heard how children, how SHS uh, final year students went to school and some actually con con uh, contracted COVID. I now have come to the realization that the NDC is more strategic the NDC is more humanitarian in approach. The NDC places me as a Ghanaian, places my daughter as a Ghanaian in the center of their programs, particularly their educational programs. And so the NDC is strategically thinking of the welfare of my child, is thinking not only of the welfare of my child, but giving my child quality education. But I'm getting And making that. sure and that, that free SHS. no, now there's clutter, it's overcrowded, there's a double track system that is not working. But it's and still a free SHS education. It's actually not free. It is not. It is not. Are you sure? Because 
my child goes to gold track, my child goes to gold track and comes to sit home and I have to pay private teachers. Why do you have to and do that? They are on the same number of days. She is not getting adequate educational, uh, adequate hours of tuition. And so this child of mine, my daughter who is going to school, I am anxious and I, she's going to school next year. So I would rather have NDC in power. I'll vote for NDC because in their manifesto that the NDC launched, they said they'll abolish double track. And I like that. How can they just abolish double track when they, they don't have, have their school blocks to absorb double track? They have articulated their program for abolishing double track. They have four years. Track. They built less than 50 secondary they schools. They built more than that. No, they, they built less than 50. They also refurbished existing schools. Mm. They refurbished existing schools. They created IT hubs for uh, uh, SHS students. They have even said that my daughter is going to get a laptop and my daughter in that, the that, tertiary that project institution that they started with RLG to, which failed in, in the Mahama Mills government. They are going to give my daughter a laptop. How can we trust you when you failed the last time? You can trust NDC because we delivered on education. We delivered on you infrastructure. You didn't deliver on the laptops. We delivered Laptops were given. There was Perhaps a huge scandal around there it. There was not a huge scandal. Laptops were delivered. Mm. We also had buses for students, for schools. We also had textbooks for students. We had textbooks and we also refurbished laboratories and several others. We enhanced learning. We focused on quality. I would want my daughter to get into SHS when NDC in, is in power because I know she will get quality education. Mm. And I know that the NDC has tied education with, um, with jobs because unlike MPP, NDC has a whole chapter on jobs, Ejumapa. And so they are going to ensure that my daughter gets jobs. The Not NPP's that, manifesto of 2016 was titled An Agenda for Jobs. Well, and what do we have? They've delivered NAPO. Well, they have not delivered. People. There's a rise in unemployment. Look at the finance and banking sector. What has happened? The mess look they at say, the, they say you look at the hospitality center. Did we close down Heritage Bank? They said you were supposed to have dealt did with it. Did we close you anticipated down the, the Heritage challenge. Bank? We did not. That is the difference and distinction between okay. NDC and MPP. We looked at the problem, we assessed the banking problem, and we solved the problem. We need to go. We, we need, need to go. We need to end. Oh, dear. It's over. Let me, no, let me say one thing. One thing. Local government. What do you want to do in local government? For traditional government? leaders, we are going to set up a royal institute mm. for chiefs. And they will now receive and also be able to, through that formal institution, impact in governance in Ghana. And assembly members are now going to be paid. Thank you Thank for you. speaking to us. That's secretary to the NDC Manifesto Committee, the People's Manifesto, as they called it, Nana Oye Bampo Hado.